Hi everyone, it's Gwen from Hummingbird Tarot, and today I'm going over the top decks that were on my tarot shelf in the month of February. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified every week when I upload a new video. So this was kind of fun, I was really surprised. This month I actually had quite a bit more Oracle decks than I normally do on my shelf. I did still have quite a few tarot cards as well. So the first deck that I had on my shelf is the Lightseer's Tarot. And I really like this deck. I find this deck is really good for really positive readings, positive affirmations. I like being able to give people a kind version of the message. And it makes it a little bit easier to swallow when you're not necessarily hearing exactly what you want to hear. It's good to know what's going on. But this deck does a good job of sharing that in a nicer way. Here's what the back of these images look like. I don't need to show more of that deck. It's all over the internet right now. So the next deck that I used quite a bit, Notes from the Universe on Abundance. And this is by Mike Dooley. I have shown this deck before. I really like this one. And I find I actually am not using it very much in readings. These are the backs. Every single back is different. Um, I'm not using it in, that much in readings for others. I am pulling a card for myself almost every day of this deck. And I'm just setting it up uh, using it for affirmation for myself. So here's a perfect example. Look at how beautiful that card is. And then it's got a message on the other side. And this one says, one million dollars is a lot only when you don't have it. With 10 million, one million can practically be overlooked and is therefore much less intimidating. Pretend you have 10 million. To the bank, the universe. And it's just, it's got a, a great way of getting you to change your perspective. So instead of having a perspective of lacking, it gives you a perspective of abundance, just like it says in the name. And it's very helpful to reset your thinking if you're starting to go down a path where you're forgetting about gratitude. And I like to be in a place of gratitude. Life is so much easier when you can be thankful for the things in your life. So I really appreciate the fact that this deck reminds me to be in gratitude and gives me concrete things to think about so that I can change my, my focus to be more on abundance. And then this deck has come up before. This is the Everyday Tarot deck, and this is by Bridget Esselmont. And I've actually been using this card, or I've been using this deck for affirmations. And what I've been doing for myself, uh, I was using this a lot more for readings earlier on. Now I still really like this deck. But uh, for the last couple days, I've had the Empress up. So I will just search through the deck and look for the archetype, the personality, whatever it is that I'm trying to attract more of in my life. I will pull that card out. I set it up on uh, either on my altar. I have several bookshelves that I pass uh, multiple times in a day. I will set it up someplace where I'm going to see it. Uh, constantly all day long and it's just a reminder to me to focus on that energy and attract that energy and I find that it's been allowing me to attract more of the things that I'm trying to bring into my life and that's how I've been using this deck these are smaller cards they're more like a standard poker deck so I really like the size of that and they're really soft in your hands but uh, I love the energy of this deck and I've been using it uh, just for affirmations lately. I highly recommend it. If you have this deck, try it out. If you don't, get the deck and, and use it for readings. Try it out for your affirmations. It really has a, I would call it a, a glowing personality. The gold in there is kind of a shimmery gold and it just has such a, a warmth to it that it makes it a lot, uh, a lot more comforting, a lot more attractive to look at every day when you're you're trying to to uh, 
find ways to affirm what it is that you're trying to attract in your life. So definitely recommend that one. The next deck is one that some of you may not have seen before. It's called the Cupid Cards, the Oracle of Love. And this is an older deck. So it comes in this big, huge box. It has um, a book in here and then a place for the cards. The box is kind of ridiculous, but I do really like the cards. So the back of all these Oracle cards, every single one of them is different, just like the Mike Dooley deck that I told you about. And this deck is by Monty Farber and Amy Zerner. And the messages on here, obviously this is a deck that I used in February because they're cubic cards, <laughs> but um, they give you some really powerful messages. So for example, this is the reputation card and you can take a look at that on the front if you like, get information to read off of the front of the card. And then the back has the heading at the top and then a message down below. So for example, this one says, try hard to make your actions such that if your guardian angels were watching, they'd be proud. About you and your love, what's said should, should fill your hearts with pride, not dread. You can't control what others say, control yourself and rule the day. The love you seek has need of one, respected for their good deeds done. So it's, it's just a nice reminder um, let me pull another one here. So this one is manifests. So you can look at, there's the back of it there. And there we go right there. This one says, observe how your habitual thoughts affect your life for good or ill, be positive and learn how to dot, dot, dot. You'll manifest your heart's desire, the love to which you most aspire, make sure what's wished for is best for you for it will soon be coming true. Real magic's when you concentrate on what you love, not what you hate. I love that. And I definitely believe in the law of attraction and focusing on that. If you focus on the things you don't want in your life, how upset you are, how sad you are, how poor you are, you're just going to attract more sadness, more upset, um, more lack of money, more lack of funds. So focus instead on the opposite of those things. And that will help attract what it is you want. Here's one more card from this deck. Um, only because many of you may not have seen it. This one's called The Healer. And this one says, Idealize love, but not your lover. Act in harmony with your highest principles as you inspire all with healing care. With faith and gentle words, be there. Bathe them in the kind of love that's shown by angels from above. To some it may be sacrifice, but love to you, it will entice. Just nice. Nice deck. So then the next one is your The Radiant <laughs> Rider Weight. This is a deck that uh, I don't see myself. It's just the Rider Weight Smith deck. I may switch between the versions of Rider Weight Smith, but this one seems to be the one I'm the most attracted to just because the colors are so vibrant. It really draws me in. I like them. Uh, the Rider Weight Smith is. Uh, it's become my soulmate deck, so, and I've been reading with it for years. I don't see that stopping, so had to include that one. I also had the Magical Messages from the Fairies, and this is a Doreen Virtue uh, deck. Here's what the back of these look like. And this has just got some short, short sweet messages. It's also, I guess my, uh, you know, I just had a lot of really positive decks this month. And that does tend to be my personality. I like to do things in a kind, gentle way. The back of these, so some of these cards, let me just show you what they look like. They've got a picture on there, and then they have a message, a heading at the top, and then a message at the bottom. So let me just take you through some of those. We've got emotional healing. Emotional healing. As your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings and love. Your wish is granted. What you've asked for is coming true. Easy does it. Stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors were open for you. 
you've got the power. Use your abilities to resolve the situation. You can do it. It's very encouraging. It's always nice to have that. And then finally, I've shown this deck before, the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck. This one, I love the box, your typical Oracle box. Here's the back of this deck. I have colored the sides purple to match the front here. And this is just, the images are very beautiful. They're a uh, rose petal finish. This is a very encouraging and positive deck as well. And I like to use this in conjunction with readings as well. So this one says, begin now, take your first step. Staying focused, hold the course. Wondrous universe, step into beauty. Watching clouds, I forgot the rest, lie back and rest, something along there. Lie back, rest, and relax. One more. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. So I hope you enjoyed that. Those are the decks that were on my tarot shelf that got used the most in the month of February. And I will see you on the next time around. If you have anything that you want to share with me, please, please feel free to comment on any of the decks that I shared with you. If you'd like to see a full walkthrough of anything, go ahead and ask for that in the comments too. I'd be happy to oblige. Thanks for stopping by.